you have any hidden talents? God, I wish I did. I wish I did. I've tried to have hidden talents. I tried to juggle, can't. Uh, tried to skateboard once, damn near died. If I have a talent, I just show it. <laughs> hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Michael Ray, and this is called Dive Bars Broken Hearts. On and off again, how the story goes. We only like our labels on long necks, nice and cold, hanging over me. The country music I grew up on was what my grandfather grew up on. The Bakersfield sound was something I loved. Dwight Yoakam, Merle Haggard, Buck Owen. I could have been a Gary Allen tribute band, honestly, probably by the time I was 17. I think I knew every song, but the evolution of my sound just kind of grew with trying to find my place. You know, I look back on some of the records and their songs on the album now that I look back on, I go, I wouldn't have cut that now. But it got me where I am. Here I am. <laughs> it's me. We go together like dive bars and broken hearts. Baby, love me slow. Sunrise waking up long night Misery and gin we go Like dive bars and broken hearts As an artist, I think you're always like, everything could be better. You know, did I sing that better? Is that song right? I think it's a lot of uh, second guessing yourself. I think part of the whole growth of the last few years is understanding the journey. You just gotta accept the, the wins and the losses. And, and know that it's all meant to navigate you to where you're supposed to be and who you're supposed to be. And I think Whiskey and Rain is one of my most proud songs because I feel like that was the bridge of the gap between me finding my artistry and my sound to where I am now. And then it ended up being my biggest song to date, but we knew going in that this is the sound I've been wanting to get out. I want people to hear that influence of traditional country music, 90s country, but with Southern rock, but mixed with today. Slow, sunrise waking up long night. Misery and gin we go like dive bars and broken hearts. Dive bars and broken hearts, the song itself was the first song that we got uh, sent to us for the EP. And just seeing the title, we were like, this is a perfect tour name. It's a perfect record name. You know, just that, that name just embodied what we wanted this whole EP to, to mean and what we wanted it to be. And what I loved about the song was it touches, you know, it says misery and gin, you know, I'm just a Jones song and you're my steel guitar. It was all these little imageries that I loved, the way that they use their, their, the lyrics to it and the way it kind of puts you right there. And also, it's just never got old. Still has. Guess I'm just a Jones song. You're my steel guitar. We'll dance on forever to that broken record. Girl, we go together like dive bars and broken hearts. The big thing going into the Dive Bars and Broken Hearts EP was really focusing on what are we leaving behind? What legacy do we have? There's a song on the EP called Working On It. That's the last song of the EP and for a purpose because I feel like when we got that song, it rounded out the last few years of my life. It makes you want to move and dance and just a lighthearted play on the fact that, man, listen, we're all just trying to figure this stuff out. Don't be so hard on yourself. Have empathy for yourself. Have empathy for other people and know that everybody's just figuring it out. It is a show. <laughs> Damn girl, we're no good. Some has to so good. Sam just a Jones song. You're my steel guitar. Dance on forever to that broken record. Girl, we go together like dive bars and broken hearts. We all stay so busy that's very easy to go, oh cool, we got it. All right, what's next? What I've learned in the last few years is you got, man, take time to celebrate those moments because they don't come around often. And, and we're very fortunate, we've had four number ones. And I think about 12 year old Michael playing guitar with his grandpa and playing Merle Haggard songs, you know, dreaming of one day playing the Opry and I'm about to play it for the 73rd time. And you know, all these moments that you can take for granted when you're in the middle of it. But if you look back on life and go, man, if little stuttering me could realize what the heck is gonna happen, yeah, he's, he's gonna be way less stressed about a lot of moments, you know, uh, leading up to this. So it's important to celebrate the, the wins because they don't come around a lot. Dive bars and broken hearts.